Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Natalie Miles Show. Welcome to this weekly energy forecast for October 13th to 19th. How are you doing? Uh, we are moving through a lot. Um, we are really um, integrating the energy of uh, the recent eclipse season. Uh, last week's forecast was all about integration. Um, and this week, yeah, we're still moving with those energetics. I feel like it's really important to share that the weekly energy forecast spill. And so just because um, the theme this week isn't about integration, like the overall theme, it doesn't mean that we're not integrating um, because we really are. Um, it's a really big, massive full moon week this week. It is happening October 17th. Um, it's a full moon in Aries. And this is when this eclipse portal closes. So this is when the eclipse energy uh, wraps up. I mean, the final eclipse was October 2nd. Yeah, October 2nd. And so we have been, um, yeah, really in this kind of integrating what has occurred since the first eclipse in September, um, the second eclipse on uh, the start of October, and now it is wrapping up. And it is really interesting that it closes with this full moon um, in Aries, um, Aries being a fire sign, um, and uh, Aries also being the first sign um, in astrology. So there is this new beginning energy. Um, there is this vibe. There is this feeling with this October 17th uh, full moon in Aries. Um, as the portal closes, the eclipse portal closes, and this new chapter begins. And this also really does fit with um, this month's energy forecast, the October energy forecast theme, which is uncharted. Yeah, uncharted. Um, if you haven't download, if you haven't downloaded uh, your full um, October energy forecast yet. Um, if you head to my Substack, you can go and download the full uh, 40 minute video, uh, monthly uh, binaural beats activation and the card spread. So if you want all the insight for October, um, if you want um, all the insight and wisdom um, of the week ahead and the full monthly, uh, yeah, go and check it out. Um, but it does really fit with this energy this week, with this energy of un Uncharted, um, because there is a big invitation to step into this new way, this new adventure that you're facing, uh, this new chapter, this new period, this uh, different way of doing things. Um, and it's really interesting because this comes really alongside some really interesting energy where we are getting uncomfortable with the unknown. If you've been uh, watching or listening to my weekly and monthly forecast, I've been use I've been talking about this for a while, and this is really big uh, this week in this energy, in this full moon energy, because endings and beginnings there can be so much pressure on beginnings for them to be, um, for you to have all the ideas or for you to have the exact path or the exact timeline or the exact way that you're going to be doing it. Um, and in this week's energy, it's really important to remember a couple of things. And this came through for me in a dream uh, last week. Um, and I got this message through my dream from my spirit team really loud that they said it's not waiting it's timing it's not waiting it's timing and that is really important to remember this week because if things aren't moving for you trust it um there are no missed opportunities 
Um, and sometimes it is about taking that pause. It is about being in that stillness. It is about being in that state of un, of not knowing, of the unknown. And when that can come up for us, there can be this, this feeling or this natural reaction that we need to do more to change it and that more effort will bring results or um, more plans will um, mean that something will happen. And there is this massive invitation this week to um, do the opposite, that if you're, um, if things aren't moving for you um, or there are lots of moving parts and nothing's really aligning, that it is about surrendering it up. Um, again, there are no missed opportunities. What is for you won't miss you. And, you, you know, I know that sounds cheesy, but it's really true. And um, so as we move through this week, this phrase of it's not wait, you're not waiting, um, it's timing, it's all about the timing of things is really important to bring into the forefront of your of your space. Details, 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 details. Um, that is this really big theme right now. And we're going to be feeling it this week um, around details. We are really having to look at the systems and structures of what's working in our lives and look at the details. It can may feel like you're having to go back over old ground and look over details. Um, we're being asked to really dot the I's and cross the T's um, as this eclipse season closes and as this new energy comes in. Um, and as we move into the back end of this year of 2024, um, yeah, looking at the details, closing things up, whether it's documents, whether it is taxes, whether it is money things, whether it's things to do with your business, your house, your home, um, things that you've been putting off. It is a really massive invitation right now to look at the details and not run away from them. It's really important we can't stick our heads in the sand around details currently. Um, if you're feeling that, know that you're not alone. It is part of that collective energy, especially also around money. Money, money, money is really, really big. Um, and we're going to be feeling it um, in particular around this uh, full moon in Aries energy. Um, the energy forecast theme for 2024 is fired up, fired up. And that is why this week is big because um, we're being asked to look at, yeah, again, what fires us up? What brings us joy? What does our own inner power, our own inner wisdom and our own inner fire mean at this time? On the flip side of all of this, and I talk about this in great detail in this month's energy forecast, is about conflict. Um, and that is, can notice what is bubbling up or bubbling over. Notice what conversations need to be had. Notice the people that are running away from those conversations. Notice those people that are looking for a fight. Maybe you're someone right now that's looking for a fight and actually needs to um, chill out a little bit. Maybe you're someone that actually needs to really let it rip and actually get the words and get the frustration and share what needs to be shared out. Um, there is this massive invitation of that, but also, um, again, an invitation to do it differently um, within this conflict energy as there is that fire this week with this full moon in Aries happening on um, October 17th. So as you move through this week, be really aware and conscious of how you're interacting with people, how you're communicating with people, how other people are communicating with you. Um, maybe they're overstepping boundaries or overstepping how they're talking to you and you actually need to vocalize that. Um, be aware of who your energy interacts with. Um, stay grounded, stay protected if you need to do energy clearing, salt baths, um, however you love to clear your energy and um, make that a priority this week um, because it really feels like we're going to have to look after our energy 
uh, look after our boundaries um, as we move through this um, big closing off, a, off of a chapter um, week. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, no small, no small energies. And we've also been experiencing a lot of um, northern lights. There's been a lot of energy flooding um onto the planet currently as well so if you've been feeling tired if you've been feeling buzzed if you're feeling a bit all over the shop in your energy body in your physical body there's also a really um big invitation this week to to ground and to clear and uh to trust and surrender what is um moving through us all right now it's been awesome to share this energy forecast with you. If you've enjoyed it, please rate, review, share. If you're watching this on YouTube, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment. I love replying to them. Um, yeah, and also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got some awesome events coming up this month. I am doing a psychic circle on October 27th. Um, it's such potent energy to come and uh, let me guide you through a psychic guided meditation and um, for you to receive messages from others and hey and maybe even practice giving messages to others um as well within the group um and uh, yeah as we approach sarwan uh halloween october 31st um yeah it's just it brings in all that witchy other side magic and so uh this psychic circle this month is gonna be extra deep and extra potent um yeah have an amazing week have an amazing full moon uh sending you lots of love um and if you want the full october energy forecast don't forget to subscribe to that as well see you next week bye